We have a special treat for you today. It's goat's milk caramel sauce, also known as Kajita. This is from Fat Toad Farm in Brookfield, Vermont. And this is a small family goat farm run by Judith Irving, her husband, Steve Reed, and their daughters, um, Josie and Callie. Welcome to Fat Toad Farm. Here comes Callie, and here comes Evan, the buck. This is all preliminary to uh, the actual caramel making, but this is what it takes to actually get milk. This is where it all starts at Fat Toad Farm with our lovely goats. We have 24 goats that we milk. This is the barn they live in. This is early morning, just before milking. This is Bet, and she's my favorite in the whole wide world. Come here, Bet. Come here. Come here. Oh, girl. Here's the girls going up to the gangplank, ready to get milk. Four goats come in at once to be milked. This is my husband, Steve. Here's all the baby goats lining up to get their grain. It's very important for their health to get the right combination of grain and hay so that they keep growing strong. Goats are wonderful, friendly animals, as you can see. That's a little too close, thank you. They're very smart, very inquisitive, very loving, and full of mischief. We bring our goats down to pasture every day so that they can be eating fresh grass through the whole season. They do have a fairly scenic place to be for the day. Today we're going to begin caramel making and the first step is to get the milk in here. This is my mom Judith. She's the caramel master and she's now dumping the milk into the pan. So today we're making coffee caramel and this is basically a four to five hour process. This is the very, very early stage where I have the milk in the pans and the ingredients and the fair traded organic coffee beans stirring in there. So this is about 40 minutes into the process and we're at the frothing stage. And <laughs> so now we're about two, two and a half hours in the process and you can see that the color of the milk is beginning to move toward the, towards the caramel color and a lot of the moisture has already boiled off. And now we'll basically be simmering this for another maybe hour, hour and a half. All right, so we're just about to start pouring the caramel through the sieve and into the canner. And you can see all the coffee beans coming out. Here is the caramel. Steve is now putting it into jars, one by one. And then we'll label them and head them off to stores and customers like you. So you can drizzle this over ice cream. It's incredible. Look at this. All right, I'd go much heavier on that. <laughs> mm. The flavors are so buttery, delicious, and there it's are very layers to, to the it. flavor. I thought so too. It, mm. it to me, it was really smooth and creamy caramel all the way through until the very end. There's the traditional, the cinnamon, the vanilla and the coffee flavors, and they're all delicious. If you like caramel, this is very special from a group of people who are very passionate about what they do.